is there any reason as to why I can't access the deferred technical preview? I can only access fancy and simple on both my Xbox consoles and PC. Yes, there's a reason for this. Let me show you how to fix it. Welcome everyone, my name is Echo, and today in this video, I'm here to explain to you everything you need to know about the newly introduced shaders for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There is also timestamps on today's video as to where you can download the required packs. A lot of you are commenting saying, I can't access this, it's grayed out. Let me show you why. So quite obvious, I don't have shaders active right now. Now, as you guys know, in order to access this, you need to go into settings, scroll down to your video settings and scroll down to the bottom. But you're having a problem here. The only ones you can currently access are in fact simple and fancy. You don't have access to deferred technical preview, but you are currently in the beta or preview on Android, Xbox, or PC. Let me show you how to get this active. This is very different than Minecraft RTX. As you know, with Minecraft RTX, you could just go to the marketplace, search RTX, and you could download these RTX capable worlds such as this one right here. Only possible with ray tracing graphics cards. Yeah, forget about that. You actually don't need to go on the marketplace. This is all done with texture packs. Now that well that I've just showed you, I'm gonna go into my settings. I'm gonna go down to my resource packs and I do have a couple of working packs. Some of them I'm gonna leave in the description for you guys to check out for yourself. To start off with, I'm just gonna use the Mad Lad one. This is not a public version as of yet. I got access to this so I can show you guys in video form in the release of the shaders thing. So I'm going to activate this. This needs to be active. So what I'm saying here is even if you're in beta and preview and even if you do have access to the shaders, you need a pack. It doesn't have to be this one. It can be any. It's the PBR type. It can be any PBR type of shader pack, but you need a resource pack for this to be possible. That's where a lot of people are going wrong. I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. Thank you to Poggy. If I hit this key right here, it automatically turns on the shaders for me. You can turn it off and on with the click of a button. Okay, let's say you do have the resource pack now. Go into your settings, scroll down to video and scroll down to the bottom. Now you should have access to deferred technical preview. You should have access to simple, fancy and deferred technical preview. And if you do have a ray tracing capable graphics card, you can turn on ray tracing as well. But let's forget about that because again, it's all about the deferred technical preview. And as you guys can see here, we do currently have this shaders activated let's say you followed all of my steps and you're still having a problem there is one more thing you need to do now remember this is an experimental toggle so in the create new world screen go down to experiment scroll down to the bottom and make sure this one is active render dragon features for creators enable the deferred rendering pipeline requires a pbr enabled resource pack and a compatible hardware it actually tells you right there what is required let's talk about the features that are available within the minecraft bedrock shaders now remember this is just the first stage as the weeks and the months go by this is going to get better and more customizable options are going to be available so let's start with the pbr materials blocks and entities so what we're going to do is forward slash time set and we set this to midnight so going forward enderman can now have glowing eyes now like i said i don't think this was possible even with rtx unless it was the better rtx by mad lads could you imagine playing a horror map and seeing these in the distance also available is you can now get like glowing end crystals if i go to forward slash game mode survival here and we managed to successfully get a creeper to blow up as you can see there it actually glows up even the likes of drowns can also be glowing as well and ironically enough i know the water doesn't look amazing but even the likes of your glow squid can actually glow it's going to get so much better in the future with things like this. Also, things like blazes, they're going to have the ability to glow. So anything, they actually look the best, if I'm totally honest with you. And in fact, I'm going to change my game mode right here. But that's honestly really impressive. 
Oh, I've also just noticed even the spider's eyes can glow. I just noticed that inside of the woods. Now, obviously, when it comes to blocks and entities, we've already seen things like torches glowing, redstone blocks. I'm curious if the, the rail doesn't seem to glow, but if we were to put this in the ground and that on top you can see it's starting to glow this kind of stuff we have obviously obviously seen within rtx before unfortunately the likes of the item frame doesn't but again all of this stuff is definitely going to be capable in the future and i just want to show you guys something real quick like another example of a really cool possible adventure map is like wow check out the redstone glowing in the distance we also have the ability to customize the sun and the moon it's looking a lot more realistic in these packs this is what the sun looks like upon the sunrise if i do forward slash time set and we set it today it's kind of got this glow on if we do forward slash time set and we do it to noon you can kind of see it there and we do forward slash time set and we do sun set it's going down shadows are a very big thing when it comes to shaders now of course it's currently sunrise so as of right now you really can't see too many of these shadows going on so I do forward slash time set and we do it to daytime you can see here that these now have shadows in fact i think even i have a shadow as a minecraft player i love that by the way also we have shadows on the tall grass and you'll see it again on the trees as well. And what I'm going to do in real time here is do forward slash time set. And we're going to set this to noon. And you can see how it's starting to change. Forward slash time set. We do it as sunset. It, yeah, it, it's even available right there. And it looks so good. So even just using blocks, you are going to be able to tell what time of day it is quick change in texture pack we're going to use iron for example you can see here it's one and a half blocks for the shadow you place down another one it goes increased and the shadows are going to increase as well and you'll notice with this one you can kind of see the shine on the iron block from from certain angles so i'm gonna put this like hold on we're gonna put this here like this uh, we'll go with this one. And I want to grab myself a redstone torch again. Redstone torch. And I want to change it to forward slash time set. And we're going to do this as midnight here. I love this. This is truly awesome. And once again, this is to do with the reflections that are possible. Don't forget, inside of your video settings, underneath the third technical preview, you do have more graphics options like the shadow quality and point light quality i have mine both on ultra different devices are going to require different ones obviously the low end devices will require low end ones medium high etc so tweak these to your own satisfaction and you do have upscaling and you do have bloom i remember the upscaling was linked to rtx and i'm not 100 sure what this offers within the shaders another question i'm seeing a lot is people saying hey echo is it coming to this platform is it coming to this device why don't I have access to it? On the official article, the developers said, for now, these features are available in preview slash beta on Windows PC, Xbox, and Android. But we do plan to bring these features to as many platforms as we can over time. So it does work on PC. And in terms of Xbox, it should work for all of the Xbox versions that do have access to beta and preview. Obviously, if you have a Series X, you're going to have better settings. In terms of Android, obviously, the higher quality phones, the better technology, the higher settings you're going to have. I've seen a lot of people saying, I have it, but it's crashing for me. Either try lowering your, lowering your settings or your device might not be fully capable of this. In terms of iOS and PlayStation and Switch, that's just a waiting game. If it's available on Xbox, especially on a Series X, this should definitely be possible on a PlayStation 5 in the future. But of course, PlayStation users do not have access to betas and previews. That's why you don't have this right now. The developers even said, we haven't set minimum requirements on PC or Android yet. So your mileage may vary depending on how beefy your machine is. We'll be working to improve performance over time and learn what minimum requirements may be needed to run these features. So as of right now, it's an open book and they're requiring some feedback to see where the actual benchmark sits. How can I get shaders working on my Xbox console? Well, 
I'm about to show you. Now, the problem here, and Minecraft and Microsoft didn't outline this, is as you guys know, there is physically no way for you to download custom resource packs for Xbox consoles. They took that method away from us. The only physical way you can get shaders working on Xbox right now is through a, a LAN game. You have to create a game with a PC, your own PC, or your Android phone that has access to these shaders. Yes, it's inconvenient. Hopefully in the future, the developers are going to put some of these packs in the marketplace so Xbox players can download it. Whether they're going to be paid or free, honestly, I think most of you would actually pay for a shaders pack rather than some of the stuff that's on the marketplace. Right, so we're going to be using the MCP Shaders Explained, which is the world I've just been showing you as an example. Now, of course, whenever you're creating this world on your PC, you need to make sure you do have the experiments on, the ones that I showed you in order to access this. The most important thing here is that this needs to be a multiplayer game. I've got this to friends only. You can set it to invite only or friends of friends completely up to you. When it comes to resource packs, make sure this is ticked. Whether it's a brand new world or a pre-existing world, this needs to be ticked. Require players to accept resource packs to join. So as of right now, we're going to be using the defined PBR. But when my other account joins this game, they are going to be forced to download this pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this world and we're going to switch to Xbox. Right now, I'm on my Xbox Series X. When I go to play and I go across to friends, this is the real echo, which is the account on my PC. I am going to join this. This is going to force me to download this resource pack. I'm then going to download it and I'm going to show you this in real time. When we join this world, I am going to have access to shaders. Now, yes, it is an inconvenience, but it does work. It does work in real time. So if I go to settings now on my Xbox and go down to video, and this is the first time I've done this on Xbox, by the way, go all the way down to the bottom. It's on fancy deferred can be turned on. I, oh, I also want to see what the other options are. Can I have this as ultra on my xbox i can have this i can have this as ultra okay they might differ depending on what console you're on um but that's just changed in real time and ironically enough i'm playing on a 4k monitor and it looks so much better on on my xbox than it does on my pc so yeah it is possible um you just have to join your friends and i don't i've had a couple other people saying hey echo is it just lan that this works with i haven't tried this with any other friends on cross platform so you are gonna have to mess around with that stuff yourself but for xbox players like i said you do need a pack even if you're on windows you need a pack if you're on android you do need a pack for this to be possible one way i think microsoft could do this is if i go to settings and i go down to storage on my xbox and i go to cached data you can see the pack is right there let us put this in our active packs section. Let us download it on our console. So if I go to play now and I go to create brand new worlds, unfortunately, that cached data hasn't saved inside of here. It's not available in my own. So there is definitely some work to be done on the Xbox platform. And that is the current only way I know how you can access these packs and shaders. If anybody knows a better way, let me know in the comment section, please. Hey there. I see you came straight for the download. No problem. The link is in the description and at the top of the comment section. All I ask you to do is to leave a like on today's video, but make sure you bookmark this video or the downloads because this pack is a work in progress. This was created by a friend called Poggy is lit and this is being worked on every single day. So do expect weekly updates with this pack. Now I did show you this throughout today's video. And it does come with a really cool styled sun and moon. Now, I feel like this pack is heavy on shadows. So if you're a big fan of custom shadows, I highly recommend checking this out. Now, while you're here, pretty sure you've got the question as to what is going on with the water in all of these shaders. You've likely downloaded multiple packs and they all look like this. And the reason why is because this is the first beta and preview test of shaders the creators don't actually have access to customized water. So if your water looks like this, even looks really murky, 
maybe the textures are glitch glitching out or maybe it's just completely transparent and you can see all the way through it yeah don't worry that's gonna change in the future but at least you get to enjoy beautiful skies shadows and so much more the next shaders pack in today's video the textures are a little bit outdated but this is a custom texture pack with custom textures like grass and blocks and things like that this is called t-bone pbr total conversion again the links are down below in the description and some of these blocks look really really good at night time so if we do forward slash time set we set this to midnight. This is one of my favorite ones to use. And it's really bright on, on the glow as well. Same with the glowstone itself. So if you're looking for a different colored kind of texture pack, this is something that can give you a different experience. But like I said, this one is a little bit outdated. So the likes of some of these textures, they might not necessarily work for you. The final shaders pack I have for you today was created by Mad Lad. In order to get access to this one, you are going to have to join his Discord because again, this is a work in progress. But if I do forward slash time set and we set this to midnight, this is the one that comes with those glowing enderman eyes. It comes with glowing drowns. Even spiders have glowing eyes. And this is the one where blazes look really, really good. I'm pretty sure there is going to be other mobs that will look cool in this. But if you want to check this out, you're going to have to reach out to him. And the best way to do it is probably via his Discord. Do forward slash time set. And we set this to day. This one, again, has like the bump mapping style on blocks like this. And some really, really cool cool shadows but again a work in progress follow him on discord to stay updated and with that being said if you made it this far in today's video and you have any more questions leave them in the comment section if you found this video useful please be sure to hit that like button these videos have taken me hours to complete but shaders are finally here i'll see you all in the next video